What's up everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa in a public lobby in some World of Drift streetcars. I'm in the 180SX that just got bumped by another 180. So we're here to digest, take a look at these runs. I'm so glad I was recording because these have had to be some of the tightest, best chases I've done so far that I think in a public lobby. I hooked up with these other two 180s the lead 180 the red one and him and I just started throwing it down I was doing transitions that were basically clipping his bumper back and forth with the S's here in Meha and it was I got so comfortable chasing him that I stopped using my handbrake for a while because I was just using my brakes and left foot braking and clutching because I kind of knew the line he was gonna run so I didn't have to worry about it I felt very comfortable following him and it showed so I found an amazing lead driver and a couple amazing drivers in the service so so glad I was recording it. So we're going to talk about it today. We got the pedal cam, the wheel cam, the third person camera, and the replay angle camera. We had a couple instances like that where we kind of bump all around or rack and we reset the pits. But we hooked up with each other all the time right after we wrecked. So we all spawned back to pits. So it was definitely an amazing time. We weren't in any type of chat or anything like that. We were just throwing it down. It's just we found an amazing, you know, amazing runs together so and it's amazing when you find him in random lobbies with random people like right there three 180s door dives he kind of biffed it but when you find some a very good lead driver in an online session it's you definitely want to try and chase them because you can get very comfortable with them and you can just start throwing down massive lines with them and we just had a lot of fun and i'm sure they had a lot of fun i know i did for sure i can't speak for them I'm trying to get in contact with these drivers and you know be like hey dude that was awesome you know let's throw down some other times right there a little bump on his little bump on his wheel but nothing major so another thing i want to talk to you guys about today is live streams so live streaming is something i used to do a lot on the channel with torque drift with live battles and stuff like that Ooh, i think i uh, locked up the brakes there so i want to bring back live streams torque drift a set of corsa uh maybe forza horizon 4 and stuff like that so that's something I'm going to be striving to do here very soon with uh, the Torque Drift coming to PC very soon. If you guys don't have that on your wish list on Steam, make sure you go to Steam, search Torque Drift, add to your wish list so you guys can see it when it comes out. As well as I'm going to be doing some more endurance racing. So if you guys remember last year, about this time, I did a 12 hours of Sebring on Forza Motorsport 7 with a couple of my friends. And uh, it was a lot of fun. We streamed the entire thing. We were doing driver changes and everything like that. And it was a great time. So, IMSA Racing Series is something I'm very happy to watch. And I love the series. So, we're going to be doing some more endurance racing. We're going to be doing another 12-hour next month of Sebring. And then I'm going to be doing some shorter ones like the 1-hour and 40s, the 2-hour and 40s with my friends either over a server with AI and stuff like that. Breaking myself into getting more and more into racing. Those door dives. See, right there. Bumper scrape. Quick transition. Quick flick thrown it down so it's it's awesome just watch these tandem runs over again and see you know the placement and everything and how you know it was done and you know because in the moment you're just having fun with it and you go back and you watch you go wow i was actually really close so like i said we're going to be doing some more endurance streams uh 12 hours of sebring will be next month uh we're going to be running it with two of my buddies this time not four we're running it with two so a little bit more drive time for all of us we will be on the fanatech wheel but we're going to be doing it in r factor 2 which has multi-class racing cautions pit strategies everything like that so it's going to be just like an actual imsa race now i'm not going to be doing it i know a lot of uh people do the i racing endurance races i'm not to that level yet so this is a way for me to tap into more and more racing because i do love racing and doing endurance races but this is a way for me to tap into it so we're going to be doing a lot more endurance races we're going to be doing some six hours some 10 hours and stuff like that i will be streaming those live on the channel as well as bringing Torque Drift Battles back to the channel because I know you guys, a lot of you guys loved it. So we're going to bring them back, especially when the PC version comes out. We're going to be bringing out some live stuff there as well. So I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about my plans for doing live streams and stuff like that here in the future because I haven't done money, money, many, money, many, money, many. Wow. I haven't done many here recently and definitely want to get more and more live streams going, especially some open lobbies. I do have my server and everything going on a set of Corsa, but I only run it when I'm on online. So if you guys don't see it, it's because I'm not online running it. So what I may do is actually put a server link up in the description so you guys can find it and flag it so whenever it's on, you guys can actually see it. 
that can be done through content manager and stuff like that I'll get more into that too as well as the cars that I've been building I am going to be releasing my car pack hopefully very soon some evil rabbit cars I have a you know, 2j 180 1j 1 1 180 I have my 350z which you guys got a glimpse of as well as some other cars that I've been working on with my friends so real world cars as well like their real drift cars are going to be in this pack as well so like I said I've been having so much fun just random thrashing lobbies so if you guys see me in a lobby and you guys know who I am and you guys want to throw doors feel free to throw doors let me know if I was in your lobby and you try and you were throwing doors with me Hit me up on Instagram. Let me know. Direct message me on Instagram. Be like, hey, man, I was just in the lobby with you. You know, because it's very cool to see. Because half the time, I don't know who I'm in a random lobby with. And I know some people message me on Instagram. And I'm like, dude, I was in a lobby with you. I was trying to catch your door, but I couldn't. Well, then I know, you know, what lobbies people are hanging in. I know a lot of people hang in the um, ADC's uh, Driftland Aussie Drift server. They hang in the Lone Star Drift server. They hang in the Tando Buddies at uh, Drift Playground and uh, Tomata Circuit. Um, I do definitely like the ADC cars as well as the World of Drift cars. They handle very well. They're pretty good at you know mimicking a real car in a sense. They don't feel as numb in the front as such as a, like a Tando Buddy car. But I know a lot of people run Tando Buddies with 180s or with the uh, Logitechs because I mentioned that before because it, it isn't as rough on the wheel. So definitely going to be hopping into more public lobbies just to thrash with some randoms as well as running my own servers which will bring in more of the TUS guys that I'm hopefully going to be running some servers with the TUS guys in tow you know so we'll be running tandems you guys can run tandems with the TUS boys and myself because they're definitely a great group of guys and very solid drivers and driving with them for the longest time has definitely increased my uh my chase as you can see there he was waiting for me a little quick flick of my uh headlights and he was like all right let's go so we do switch off more towards the end um where i needed a little bit but he mostly wanted the lead and he was a very solid lead driver so big kudos to that man because we were able to get some nasty tandems <clears throat> So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which found in the description box below. A little break, a uh, lock break. You know, a little too much heavy on the you know left foot brake there, kind of locking up the front wheels. But we were still able to do it. Ooh, a little less handbrakes, handbrakes in certain sections. So I hope you guys are enjoying this basically chit chat session. Let you guys know what's coming to the channel as well as watching some awesome tandems that I was having because I know a lot of you guys were asking for just more tandem video. Well. This video is all about tandems. Yes, I'm here rambling and talking to you guys about the channel, but it's just it's straight tandems. That's all it was for the longest time. I think I was tandeming this guy for about a half hour. The one was like nonstop, and it was the tandems got really close, really fun, and I do love the lower powered, you know, World of Drift street cars because they handle very well. And they take a little bit more finesse to drive, but they're not like overpowering to where it's like stupid grippy and you know, throwing too much around and, you know, twitchy in the front. They're, they're a very stable car. So, we were just throwing it down. This new 2020 version of Meha, the rumbles on the outside do uh, act as rumble strips. They, uh, they vibrate my wheel. I go through them a couple times. You guys probably noticed. And uh, it kind of chatters a little bit. So, this is a new version. I will leave the link in the description box for the track as well as these street cars because this uh, server is definitely a fun server to drive I'll leave the name of the server as well down in the description box below so you guys can know what server this was I think the server runs most of the time and there's usually a lot of people on here I logged on uh, in the beginning and there was about 15 people in the server and then it boiled down after a while but there was a good amount of people oh rip I forgot we both went way hard into that <clears throat> I totally forgot I was in reverse. So, this man, like I said, very solid lead driver. I was wondering if he uh, biffed it and did something with his wheel, and we were kind of just chilling. I was ch chilling for a minute, obviously, and then he decided to uh, come out, and then we were throwing more tandems, as you can see. So, I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of the tandem videos here so you guys can just enjoy the sights and sounds of... Uh, the tandems we did get into a little bit of a tandem train so i'll leave you guys with this make sure you guys follow me on all social media i'll just follow the description box below as always i thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the tandems i'm evil rabbit i'll see you guys on the track